Okay, lesson two, example four. Describe what happens when a hydrogen atom in the ground state collides with an electron with an energy of five electron volts. Okay, so the idea here is that you have your hydrogen atom and inside of your hydrogen atom, you have your energy levels that are shown over here. And there's an electron and this electron is not part of the hydrogen atom. It's what's called a free electron. So it's an electron just happens to be passing by, okay? And that electron is going to collide with the hydrogen atom. And when it does, it can transfer some energy to the electrons that are within hydrogen. So this free electron has an energy of five electron volts. Now this question is dealing with collisional excitation. And the rules for collisional excitation are actually a little bit different than the rules for example three. So remember in example three, we had hydrogen absorbing photons. And we said that the hydrogen either has to absorb the whole photon or none of the photon with no in between. That's not the case here in example four. So example four does not involve absorbing a photon. Instead, it involves absorbing energy from a free electron that's passing by. And so what that means is that the hydrogen can absorb some or all of this five electron volts. It doesn't have to take all five. It can take just a little bit of it. So let's see what happens. So if we have an electron that is within the ground state of hydrogen, that electron is going to have negative 13.6 electron volts of energy. And let's just begin by assuming that this hydrogen atom absorbs all five electron volts of energy from the free electron. If that's the case, then the electron within hydrogen would now have, so I'm just gonna do negative 13.6 plus five, the electron within hydrogen would now have negative 8.6 electron volts of energy. And like I did before, negative 8.6 electron volts is somewhere here. So that means that this electron that I drew in blue, it's the one that's within hydrogen, would like to move up to this red line. However, it can't do that because that red line represents an energy level that doesn't even exist in hydrogen. So negative 8.6 electron volts is not a value of energy that this hydrogen atom can have. So what I drew won't actually happen, okay? The electron within hydrogen will actually not make a transition. It will just remain in the first energy level and so nothing happens. So basically this free electron that was passing by, it's gonna collide with the hydrogen, but then it's not actually gonna give any of its energy to the hydrogen atom. So when it's leaving after the collision, the free electron still has five electron volts of energy. Okay, let's repeat the same question, but let's see what happens if the free electron now has 10.2 electron volts of energy. So again, the hydrogen atom is starting in the ground state. So we're starting at negative 13.6. And we're gonna assume that the hydrogen absorbs all 10.2 electron volts just to see what happens. And we get negative 3.4 EV. So that means that the hydrogen atom can make a transition from N equals one to n equals two. So if I draw this out now, okay, so if I have my hydrogen atom, the free electron before the collision, it had 10.2 electron volts of energy. Then it collided with the hydrogen atom and it gave up all of its energy. So this free electron now, after the collision, has no energy left because the free electron gave all of its energy to the hydrogen atom. Okay, repeating this again, but with 11 electron volts. So negative 13.6 plus 11. Let's see what we get. 
All right, that gives negative 2.6. So looking at the energy level diagram that we're being given, negative 2.6 is somewhere in here. Okay, so if hydrogen starts at the ground state, so here's an electron that's within hydrogen. If this electron that I just drew absorbs all 11 electron volts of energy from the free electron, then it will be able to make a transition to this red line. But again, like I was saying earlier, you can't actually make a transition to that red line because that red line doesn't actually exist within the hydrogen atom. So it can't do what I just drew, but it can do the next best thing. So if I just draw it again, it can go to the second energy level. Okay, and let's look at how much energy is used up in this transition here. So if we're going from the negative 13.6 level to the negative 3.4 level, we can calculate the difference in energy there. And I'm just gonna do that over here. So the change in energy for the, I'm just gonna say the atom here so we don't mix it up with the free electron. The change in energy for the atom is gonna be the final energy, which is negative 3.4 minus the initial energy, which is negative 13.6. And that gives me a change in energy for the atom of 10.2 eV. So because this is positive 10.2 eV, what that means is that the hydrogen atom absorbed 10.2 electron volts of energy. Or in other words, it gained 10.2 electron volts in, in energy. So what that means is of this 11 electron volts that the free electron started with, the hydrogen atom did not absorb all 11, it only absorbed 10.2. So if I draw a picture again, so I have my free electron that's incoming, this ha started with 11 electron volts of energy, and then I have my hydrogen atom, this hydrogen atom absorbs 10.2 electron volts of that 11, which means that the free electron, uh, when it leaves after the collision, it's going to have 0 0.8 electron volts of energy remaining. Okay, and then last one, we're gonna do this with 14 electron volts. So again, we're starting in the ground state, so negative 13.6 plus 14, and we do that and we get 0 0.4 eV. So what that means is that we actually have enough energy to ionize our electron. So our electron here is in the hydrogen atom, and remember that the ionization level up here, which is N equals infinity, has zero EV as its value. So I have more than zero energy if the hydrogen absorbs all 14 electron volts. So that means that this electron can actually go all the way up to ionization and beyond. And so what's going to happen is something like this. So we have our free electron. It's coming in with 14 EVs of energy. We have our hydrogen atom. The hydrogen atom is going to absorb at least 13.6 EV. Now it might absorb more. We really have no way of telling. The question doesn't give us enough information and this isn't something that we can predict with the amount of physics that we know. So when in collisional excitation, when you have something that has the ability to ionize the atom, meaning it has more than enough energy than this number, so 14 is more than 13.6, that means ionization could occur. When that happens, all you know is that your atom is going to absorb at least the amount needed to ionize. As for what happens to the leftover energy, 
we don't know and you won't be tested on that so you don't need to worry about it.